I think that if you do the analysis, um, there's, there's, there's the qualitative and the quantitative part. For the quantitative, I think seven out of nine polls put the NPP ahead winning. Just one or two had them losing. So we'd say that a lot of the polls or surveys made the call that the NPP was going to win. If you look at the qualitative part, that is just um, giving interpretations to a lot of things that happen and see where things are flowing. There was a professor. And you are talking about the presidential election. The presidential, yes. Okay. There's a professor in the U.S., Professor Lechman, and he called the election for Donald Trump using the 13 keys, if you remember, mm -hmm. and um, in 2016, and even in 2020, he got it right again. So I tried to use the same model in Ghana using the 13 keys to the White House. This time around, kind of remodeling it a little bit with certain variables in Ghana and then applying it to our election again. And when you put in those keys, President Kufuado still comes up ahead. You know, there are about 13 different factors, and I don't even have time for Let's us go to go through some of them. Just mention them carefully. Okay, sure. We can do that. Um, so the economy? Yeah, so there was the economy. There was... Um, for the, the economy, did you make it positive or negative? Um, the, well, there's, there's no huge... Uh, backlash or general economic malaise or suffering and all of that. So let's give that uh, true. Okay, you mean the economy that is not suffering from any identifiable difficulty like doomsaw or something like that? Exactly. So the economy, you give it positive? Positive. Mm -hmm. All right. And then there's one that says that um, there's no primary contest. That means there's no serious primary contest for the incumbent party nomination. Right. For the president becoming the candidate. Right. Okay, so and there was none. So okay. we'll put that true. Okay. Then incumbent seeking re-election. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it, and the question here is, is the incumbent president seeking re-election? Mm -hmm. Yes, he and, is. Yes, so we'll put through there. Mm -hmm. um, no third party. Is there a significant third party or independent campaign? No. No, so we'll, we'll still put through there. Mm -hmm. Strong, okay, so the economy, we've done that already. Um, major policy change. Uh, the incumbent administration effects major changes in national policy. Yes. Of course. We'll put through there. SHS. Yes. True. Yeah. Okay. No so if you have more of the 13 if, true... Yes, if, if six of the keys are false, if six or more are false... The incumbent loses. The incumbent loses off. Okay, so let's go on. Okay. Yes. Major policy change, correct. Yes, we'll put true there. No social unrest. There is no sustained social unrest during the term. Social unrest, correct, man? Was there any? Of course, there was no social. You see, no, no, no you said major yeah, one. They major, were, they could have and been. it was it wasn't. If we if we did the same thing during 2016, yes, strike. Ah, yes, yes, again yes, yes, and yes, again, the strike. labor yes, unions, yes, yes, demonstration. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Do you understand? Yeah, all, yeah, all yeah, of that. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. You get it, yeah. So, so, no social, so, so that's true. So, so here it's false. It's false, so it's positive for the president. Yeah, hold on. There is okay. no sustained social... Rest. You are right, true. true yeah, true, true. 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 There's yeah. no sustained yeah. social... Yeah. Okay. So let's go on. Mm -hmm. uh, no scandal. The mm. incumbent administration is untainted by major scandal. No, there, there, were, there were major scandals. Yeah, so Martin no. Amidou's resignation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's scandal, please. It's well, I mean, it was testament to... Okay, what's Person a scandal then? What's the definition? Because there's a media oh, okay. type of scandal and yes. there's a real scandal. Yes. Yeah, so, so here it just means that is there something major that is like an albatross on the neck of the government? Like you me. Leading, to scandal. The, leading to the <laughs> leading yes, to government. Scandal. I, mean, I don't scandal. want to ask questions about Ejapa because of where he works. But, no, but, I mean, <laughs> but if you put it, actually, let me ask you if you put yes. Woyome and Ejapa together, would you call them at the same level of Definitely not. albatross? Yes, yeah, so, so you see, Paul, this is why it's qualitative. Gen, gen on the, in the grand scheme of events, mm -hmm. was there something weighing on the president within the public domain as far as um, in the government events? I wish you could give Kodo Frimpo a mic, eh? Because yeah. I, I, I'd like to, please, <laughs> give him a mic. I, I'd like to take his view on, on some of these things. Right. Yeah, sorry, if you're Kodo Frimpo, our friend is in the studio. I'd like to. Uh, if the mic is ready, I, I hope you were listening, Kodo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it working? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it working? As you come forward. Uh, okay, they'll, they'll get back to you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean, I know um, they are the legal gurus and they do all the legal stuff, <laughs> but um, what no, I mean... The cannot participate in that particular... Uh, the yeah. Attorney General can. And, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. But of course, they also... But we are still on the definition of scandal. And he's also part of the government. Yes, so, but <laughs> an integral so, but, part. Yes, an integ very integral part, yeah. honorable, all the respect. Yeah. Uh, but, but what I mean is that within the public domain, mm -hmm. right, I mean, in the mind of the ordinary person, was there an event you know, that took place that really seemed to weigh on the government mm -hmm. as an albatross? And of course, the, 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 the Ijapa deal was one. It played very heavily. 
towards the end, mm -hmm. you know, and there were other significant events. So for that, in the last two weeks, it was a major event that weighed on the government. So, so that's a no. Yes. So we we'll put a false. False. Okay. Yes. I'll dispute it. Okay. I can, I can see that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll no, back. no, no problem. I'll come back to let's you let's finish. Let's I finish with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that all? No, no. There's none. Okay. Then there's a uh, uh, foreign policy. Foreign policy. Yeah. Yes. So they, here they say. Um, the incumbent administration suffers no major failure in foreign or military affairs. And there's another one that says that major foreign or policy success, so the incumbent administration achieves major success. So I collapse yeah. these two and merge it as just foreign policy. Foreign policy, I think that's, that's and positive I say for that, the president. Yeah, that's positive. And, and here I say that the incumbent achieves major uh, foreign policy goals. So that's no true. Failure. So we we'll, we'll put through there. We we'll put through the Ghana Beyond Aid, uh, the Year of Return. And the Year of, of Return that. was amazing. The Year of Return, yeah, his encounters with Macron and all of that. Yeah. I think he represented the country pretty well on the international scene. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, a charismatic incumbent. For this one, uh, oh, it's I a straight yes. <laughs> it's a very straight yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, everywhere you go yes. around the country. It's a straight yes. Okay. But, but I think Fulugan also is. the point that, the point that he made, but, but the, the point that he made, smart. which is a point I'll be making next Tuesday in my okay. editorial about, I'm going to do something on Aku from 2008. Right. I think the point that is coming out also mm -hmm. that, is that Aku Fuadu's popularity is, yeah. is amazing because mm -hmm. this has been the biggest parliamentary swing in the history of this country, even in okay. Europe. Even in Europe. Yeah, this is... A 63 uh, margin that has whittled down to one or two. It's never happened. Right. The biggest swing to have has been in the year 2000, mm -hmm. where the MPP clawed back some 37 and came two ahead. Yeah. And then 2016, yes. where the MPP again clawed back and came into the lead. Yes. But this one coming yes. from a deficit of 63 but this is to not close. the biggest. 2016 was the biggest. Um, 2016 was the biggest. One. Where we came from, I think, about 112 mm -hmm. to 169. Yeah. So the NDC. Now moves from 107 to mm. 135. In 2016, yes. So, so if you net it, this is the biggest. It's not. It's not the biggest. Yes. If you net it, this I don't think it's at all. Okay, but, but nonetheless, it's, it's, nonetheless, it's a very heavy swing. Yeah, let's finish. Now, for him to survive mm -hmm. the swing, mm -hmm. and at the calculation, he's probably leading the parliamentary aggregate by about 200,000. Probably. Probably about. It could be more. Okay. But it's about 200. That's a that's a major leap. Okay. In so some that, constituencies, he was beating parliamentary candidate by 8,000. Okay. Which okay. is serious. So, if you look at the personality and talking about the charismatic thing, yes, and people it, and want, went for him okay. to endorse him, him, yes, yes, but yes. refused to listen to his call to endorse his candidate. Yes. So yeah. even in my in the very last factor that I, I wrote this evening, I, there was a, a, something I said Nanado's personality. Ekufuadu has never been an out and out charismatic person. However, most Ghanaians probably felt he was serious enough and had demonstrated enough competence in managing the affairs of the country that he deserved another term. When you consider the fact that he performed so much better than his parliamentary candidates, you come to the conclusion that this is a fairly popular president. So but you can't say the same of the NDC ticket. It yes, yes. It's so the opposite in the NDC ticket, that the parliamentary team performed better, better than yeah, yeah. That is why on charisma, it's a bit tricky because John Mahama previously had been seen as that genial, that charismatic figure, oh and right. Nanadu was no, no, more no, 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 charismatic. No, 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 Yes. And I have the videos, the Omochakemi videos. Yes. That's, he, he, he ignited Kufo's campaign on the rallies yep. in 2000. Throughout, he did. Yes. At the level so of you may Jerry, have to revise at that. At the level of Jerry John Rollins. Almost at the level of Jerry John oh, Rollins, absolutely. Yes. Do you know Agami, something? Jerry might be, I mean, the late oh, president oh, might be the oh, only one that would beat him. So what's your definition of charisma? Because really and truly, mm. to say Akufar is a popular president, mm -hmm. but, but not a charismatic president, it needs some delineation. So yeah, 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 how yeah. do you define charisma? Right. So when you talk about charisma, it's just somebody <laughs> whose personality, his yeah. persona is magnetic. Yes. It's just immediately electrifying yes. and, and for no reason. Yeah. So, so give us some examples, maybe outside Ghana, yes. then we can deal with it. Okay, so, so, so you talk of Jerry Rollins. Okay, good, instance. good, good, good. Outside Ghana. So in Ghana, Jerry Rollins. In Ghana, Jerry Rollins, um, I mean, by okay. far and wide. All right. Mm -hmm. You see, in the U.S., right, mm -hmm. look at someone like Donald Trump. Would yes. you call him a charismatic president? I think so. Okay. Now, Professor Lichman, when mm -hmm. he was describing him, yeah. said he wasn't charismatic. Do you know the reason he gave? No. He says that Trump seems to be this person who appeals to people, but his appeal is very limited. 
to the base, the rednecks, the base of, of, of his party. Not, it, it has no crossover or cutting appeal. Like Obama, you know, Obama is one of these people are crying. That is a charismatic leader. Look at Hillary Clinton. She's smart, she's intelligent, but, but probably the most experienced. Uh, so, so is Hillary Clinton so, charismatic you can't, you can't or not? Put no, your, she's not charismatic. You can't Bill put your Clinton finger on is charismatic. one or two attributes. Bill Clinton, hold on, hold on. Is right. charismatic. Bill Clinton is. Is charismatic. Okay, Al-Hadi Muhammad Buhari is not charismatic, yeah? <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not giving that a thought. But, but, so, but so, that so, me. So, Rebel yeah. Leader Charles Taylor is charismatic. Yeah. Um, I've, I've not thought about no, that. No, forget about but, his but, background. But, but, I mean, but, just look at him. So Nelson yeah, but Mandela? Yes, someone like Mandela. Do you, do you understand? Really? Do you get it? So, so I, I mean, I'm willing to give that to him because, listen. listen You're willing to give Akufado charismatic? I'm willing to do that because okay. I did that with a couple of... Um, because it, otherwise, the deputy attorney is going to come after you. He's yes. looking. No, 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 that's fine. No, do you, and do you know why? Do you know why I'm willing to do that? No, why because you when do I did it with my team, it uh -huh. was a bit shaky because Kufado before now, um, a lot of uh, mad slinging had, had gone on against him. Yes, yes. against him, and it took and he a dent. Mm -hmm. Yes, it took a dent. But yeah, after the first time in office. I think that... He I don't think he took no. a dent. I, I, I don't think no, that's he right. I mean, Because right. the right. went against him in 2008. That's but then I mean. he won the biggest victory in 2016 yes. in the Fourth Republic. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That so for somebody time, to do that, yes. he, that the, it means that the mass linking had not sufficiently dented him. And also over time, in 2008 maybe it worked, but yeah. over time I think that he had shored up that image. Mm -hmm. And especially really? after his first term in office, that had really gone up. And that's why I'm saying okay. that the parliamentary, you know what I read? Yes. I said, if you do the, current, uh, the, uh, the parliamentary the, president... The charismatic thing is going to take us a while. We'll right, hold yeah. it. Let, let me hear you. <laughs> but, 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 but even if we get... Because but, the, we can end there and say, let, let's give that. You, I mean, you are willing to give that? Well, I think the first, on the balance. The first point, you could forward this charisma. Mm -hmm. it's, not a product, it's not a recent product. No, Has always been there for ages. That's what I believe, yes. yeah. Mm He's -hmm. always been there for ages. Maybe you haven't studied him historically. No, no, no. no, no as, far as, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. But... In 1999, on. in 1999 or in 98, mm -hmm. when Kufuor made his first bid for the presidency, yes, the flag yeah. of the party, mm -hmm. we were in the West of Ghana Invested, at yeah. that time. We followed him because of his charisma. Yeah. Exactly. I remember there was one after the Congress. Mm -hmm. There was one um, executive national executive conference that was held at the campus of yeah. Mm -hmm. and was, people trooped there to see Kufuor. Yeah. Yeah. Just because yeah. of Kufuor. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then the enemy enemy frigid team came two, from there. In yeah. I mean, 2000, no, right? Hold on, I'm saying. Hold on, I'm saying. Hold on. Two, I'm two, 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 2001. Two, one. In 2001. Yeah. I was witness. Yeah. To Kufuor's advocacy in the Supreme Court of Ghana mm -hmm. during the uh, famous um, Chachikata matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We could abandon our lectures and advocacy at that time just to go and watch so Kufuor on display when we heard the Kufuor was coming. That is correct. And it was not only us. People from even uh, I mean on the street, mm -hmm. they all came to watch. And if you then again, mm -hmm. if if you, if you match it against what he himself said that charisma is a person who is able to defy um, uh, or rise against a storm of 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 um, scan mass slinging mm -hmm. and all that, the man has survived mass slinging all his life. That is true. He's one of the persons who has so survived mass slinging more than so much in, Including at all. surviving, he has surviving Martin Amidu's resignation yes, all that. Yes. and description are, of him yes. as the mother so serpent of corruption. Yes. Surviving, and a, a, no, no, no. I mean, I said yeah. surviving a, a bribery yeah. allegation yeah, of not forty thousand Ghana cities two I days know. to the election, so he's and still delivering problem. a victory yeah. when his parliamentary candidates were losing. Yeah, yeah, and Paul, if I know, let's make this this point yeah. as well. I mean, yes, please. Even on the global stage, mm -hmm. you know, yes. Echo yes, was on the world yes. stage. I mean, could you were there when Harvard? You know, this is someone that you know, a Ugandan student at Harvard said that he wishes. This yes. was his president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's, oh. if that's not charisma, what let's is charisma? Let's, 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 let's forget. And people, and let's forget. For example, when I he spoke at Harvard, yeah. some of the students were teary. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> because you were thinking about people crying. No, no, crying. When he yeah. spoke at Harvard, no, no, some of the like, students. Listen, listen. No. No. Yes. No. Could you? I put that conference together. Yes. I was there. Yes. When it happened. No, no, no. I saw and, it. It and, was powerful. And, and you know, so at the same conference, there was this foreign minister from one of these French countries who came there. And then I was having an interaction with him. said, this guy? President of Ghana comes to a course, speaks fluent French. French. Oh, yeah. Amazing guy. And, and they felt that he, wa he had really become the leader of the new Africa. The Africa, even over Paul Kagame, yeah? the Africa that was thinking through what should happen beyond their presidency. Because Paul Kagame, for everything that he is, and it's an amazing guy. But he's been there for 24 years. Yeah. So you know, well, 24 already? Yes, yeah, 24 for from 1994. Actually, 26. Really? Kagame he was came vice to president, power. yeah. He no, as vice Kagame president. came to power, brought in the rebels, 
1994, that's when the war ended, he assumed the reins of power, and it's been 26 years this year, but Kagame still at the reins of power. Yeah, you see, Paul, I, you see, what they, what they don't realize is that actually here, I call it, when they say the incumbent party candidate is charismatic, is charismatic, I actually call it for him. I was just going through the process right. of showing so how it has yeah, evolved. But you should have said that about you know, <laughs> so no, but, but it's because I do analysis. So yeah. before yeah. I come to a conclusion, yeah. I have to give yeah. the reasons. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you understand? So when uh -huh. you completed so this called, analysis, you came yeah. to a conclusion that MPP will Yes, the only two of the keys were false. Mm -hmm. Only two of the keys were false. So this, uh, this is for income, an incumbent? No, it's because the, the theory or um, the, the hypothesis that he bases it on is based mm -hmm. on the incumbent. He doesn't do, if you remember the reason why he was very... Um, so when he did Hillary Clinton, who yes. was not the incumbent, what was, yes. what was the point he was making? He was looking at the yes. incumbent government. Yes, yeah, so in that case, mm -hmm. in that case, if they say that the incumbent party candidate is the sitting president, that becomes false. Because the incumbent party candidate yes, was, was Barack Obama and it was changing. Ah, okay. Do you understand? So, so in, was, in 2024, if you do this analysis, yes. you will have... The incumbent party will have a candidate, but mm -hmm. not the incumbent himself running. Exactly. Yeah. Do, okay. do you guys? So that will be a false. That will be a false in that in 2016. So that was yeah. a false for Hillary. Do you get it? And there were a lot of falses over there for Hillary, and she lost. Remember, and and you can understand why they always say that incumbents normally win or the second term, the, the whole mm -hmm. incumbent theory, mm -hmm. because this will call will go for the column of an incumbent who is still running. Do you understand? Uh -huh. so, so if MPP want to win, they will have to tick all these boxes as true. And, six. But, but they, but they, six, exactly. Six of them. But they can't do anything about the incumbent running because that's constitutional. And so. that is why normally incumbents win re-election. There are some things you can't, do, you can't do anything about. It's just what it is. And that's probably why it didn't go well for Hillary because, you see, people were tying Obama's term to Hillary. So a lot of the ills that went on with Obama would be tied into whoever is also running. And so it goes against them. So there are some things you just can't do. In it. It's, it's just what it is. Yeah, I'm saying so, that, I mean, the MVP now, as presently constituted, presently led, has defied a number of things. First and foremost, just perhaps trivia, we have broken this relationship between the American election and the Ghanaian That's election. very significant. That's, That's very, very significant. Secondly, this but, is the first but, but time... But Malam Shamuna a, said here that the... He said that fight. thing has broken. No, no, he predicted Mahama away, but I asked him about the yeah. connection. He said it's broken. He so said it last year here. And, and right. by the way, there was okay, never so any defied, scientific so basis have defied, for that. So you have defied there was no Malam scientific basis for never, that. Oh, yeah, people... Oh, yes, there was no scientific basis for that. People me a lot of trouble now, over second, that. And I said, no, there's no scientific right. basis for that correlation. Mm -hmm. Now, the very first time a president, a president was elected president, one touch, I mean, in simple Ghanaian palace, was mm -hmm. in 2016. Mm -hmm. He had never happened before. Coming from opposition. Coming from opposition. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. that's correct, yeah. Now, so I'm predicting that we're going to break the, 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 the cycle, the two term, 2024, <laughs> it's going to happen. We're going to have, we're going to have a party winning power for the third time to get to term. Of course, I mean, he's a member of the government, so, so, so that, is, that is allowed. But, but like I said, um, even if we did call so the charisma and all of that mm -hmm. and added it to it, the forces come to two. Let's even say we gave one out. They will still come to three. Mm -hmm. And the theory says that the incumbent will only lose if six or more of the keys are false. In this case, it's just two of the keys. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep an eye on that, Yeah, and so that probably, I mean, mm. helps to explain mm. that some, some of these. I think it's a okay. helpful it's, way to it's think nice through. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a helpful way to think through mm -hmm. the kind of candidates you have for the, for the for elections. Election, yeah. So it, it helps to kind of know whether mm -hmm. The temperature, the pulse exactly. in the country yeah. will affect you positively or negatively. From a qualitative so, way. So from a quali yeah. It's very qualitative, it's not yeah. quantitative. No, no so I, I think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a helpful tool to have. It may not be game set a match, it may not be set in stone. Yeah, but, but it's what? It, 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 it's, it's a good way to think it's about it. It's 99% of the time. Mm. And if you apply this to 2016, I did it, it worked. Mm. Apply this to all the other previous elections. It's a, I'm wondering what happens in, say, a place like Hungary, right? And well, Hungary, Hungary the okay. Okay. and the Hungarian elections, right? right, right. So <laughs> if you say it works 99% of the time, mm -hmm. I'm interested in the spectrum that you've applied it to in Europe, in Asia, mm -hmm. in South America. Will it work in Britain? You know? so, so remember, when I say 99, I just mean whoever developed it in, right. in the U.S. In the U.S., yeah. okay. Do you understand what I yeah. mean? Uh -huh. So what, what will happen is the U.S. That is a very different system. Yes, right? and, and I also, um, I remodeled it. So there were, I just didn't finish up with it, but there were three keys that I reconfigured. For instance, there was one that, and I didn't read it because I reconfig reconfigured it. It said midterms. After midterm elections, the incumbent party holds more. We don't have midterms in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I reconfigured that to um, 
um, message. You have to stick okay. with yeah, the candidate with the most direct and easily recognizable message. And in this election, that clearly goes for the MPP because the message was very focused, it was very direct, the free SHS, yeah. very overwhelmed, very dominant. Any child on the streets can mention that, whether in the rural or in the urban area, it was not scattered, it was very direct. So that went for them. And then there's another factor that I remodeled for Ghana, corruption. Whether we like it or not, the perception of corruption weighs heavily on voters when we go into any election. So you need to uh, figure that out. What do you think happened in this election? Was the perception of corruption... Did they stick on the MPP candidate? Uh, they survived it, I mean, throughout. No, I'm talking about the presidential candidate. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Survived it throughout, whether it was cash for seats or whatever, until the last two weeks. That's when I began to notice, okay, something... Until was, Martin Amidu. Yes, was beginning to stick. I mean, that's what I'll tell you. And if you look at the corruption perception index, that's more quantitative. Would you but say that if Martin Amidu didn't happen, Akufado would have gotten a bigger majority? I, 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 no, no. I lean, I yes, we, we may not know because, you see, what I said was that it happened way too close to the election to make any impact. Yes, uh, or any verifiable conclusions. People are taking their decisions or conclusions already. On it. Yeah, so we cannot tell for now. But it was beginning, for me, I think that was one of the things that was beginning to stick. <laughs>